the values of Mahatma Gandhi of peace and non-violence and should I say the Bollywood dances as well these have permeated lands far beyond Indian shores and so therefore India will always remain a part of you no matter where you are your country Belize therefore salutes you for having become such an integral and positive part of this society and your land, the land of your ancestors' origins, India, also salutes you for having kept in yourselves, in your minds and in the future of your children those values and those traditions which your forebears had brought to these parts. So my heartiest felicitations to each one of you. The India that your ancestors left more than a, a couple of centuries ago in some cases more recently has rapidly changed over the years. India is not even the India that attained independence on the 15th of August 1947. We have over the last six to seven decades made tremendous progress. India today is a land with 1.2 billion people a full half of which about 550 to 600 million of which are below the age of 25 years. And it is this young, dynamic, demographic part of our population that will give us rich dividends in the years to come. As the global population ages around the world, it is this part of the Indian society which, if properly equipped and trained and educated, will contribute to the growth of the Indian economy. The Indian economy today is already the third largest in Asia. But it is, in terms of purchasing power parity, already the fourth largest in the world at 4.5 trillion US dollars. And India is a country that has achievements on multiple fronts. We are, after all, the world's oldest or perhaps the largest democracy, whichever way you wish to see it. We are a country that performs and conducts democratic elections for 600 million voters, the largest in the world very peacefully and in accordance with the Constitution of India which gives each Indian the right to speech, freedom, the right to pursue their own religious beliefs. Let us not forget that India, which you represent in a certain sense in a microcosm here today, bringing together all those traditions that you, you still retain, the legacy, the rich legacy of your forebears, is a land which is composite, it is inclusive. It has never excluded anyone. Thousands of people came to India in centuries past and made India their home. India is the country where Christianity took roots long before it took roots anywhere in the world. Certainly long before it took roots in Europe. It was in 48 AD. As early as that, 2000 years ago, in the time of St. Thomas the Apostle, that Christianity took roots in India. Judaism, likewise, took roots in India more than 2,300 years ago during the fall of the Second Temple. So India is a composite fabric, a rich, composite, multicultural country. And in many ways, you represent that India, even as you are Belizeans in every way. And I salute that, uh, that ability of this uh, society here to retain its roots. For a society that does not respect its past cannot make progress in the future. It is very important even as we look ahead and teach our younger generations to look to the future, to always remember where we came from. And therefore, a tribute to you and your forebears who left their motherland in the past, but who also made rich contributions and became integral parts of society wherever they went, whether it was in the Caribbean, in Jamaica, or in more recent uh, decades, uh, and perhaps uh, a century or more in this land, Belize. So therefore, I wish uh, each one of you much success and progress in your endeavors. Just a couple of words about uh, myself personally. It's a great privilege for me to be the non-resident, I'll be the non-resident. High Commissioner of India to Belize. 
As you all know, I'm resident in Mexico, but this does not mean that uh, Belize is less important. And it is in that context, uh, if evidence is required, that I'm here for the second time in less than two months. My first visit was in December last to present my credentials to the Governor General and to meet the Prime Minister and other dignitaries. And I'm back again, as you can see, in the month of February. And let me tell you that we attach the greatest of importance to Belize. Belize is considered by India as a friendly neighbor. We share a great deal in terms of our legacy. Let us not forget that we use a common language, English. I wouldn't have been able to speak like this in Mexico. <laughs> Did someone say I was heaving a sigh of relief? <laughs> I'd be able to come and address you in English. But therefore, Belize for us is a friendly country. It's a member of the Commonwealth. We also share the game of cricket. I hope you've kept up that tradition, uh, at least in these parts. Uh, the Caribbean countries are exceedingly good at cricket. And I'm sure you will have uh, some cricket players among the young people at the back. So we have the cricket uh, legacy. We have the legacy of the Commonwealth. And should I add, we also have the legacy of the curry. So we have the three C's that bind us together. But more than that, it is also the C of community building, the C of commerce between Belize and India that will propel our relations into the 21st century. I must tell you that uh, I had a very fruitful second visit. We came very early in the morning yesterday and uh, we went to Belmopan accompanied by Mr. Arun Chandani, who as you know is doing an exceedingly good job here as our representative, as the Honorary Consul General. In fact, uh, I was asked uh, by some friends here if uh, it was difficult for me uh, to visit Belize now and then. I said I would like to do so more often but I'm sure I'm not missed because Mr. Arun Chandani is already doing such a fine job. So uh, let me acknowledge that uh, he has my fullest support in all that he does in terms of reaching out to the community. Uh, and we had, as I was uh, mentioning to you, very good meetings in Belmopan. I had uh, interaction with the ministers of health and national security. And you might ask, why national security? And what has India to do with Belize in terms of national security? And I would say we have plenty to do because we live in a much smaller world today. The world is no longer the world of our ancestors where geographic distance prevented us from moving to other parts of the world where voyages have to be conducted for three months to get anywhere. If at all you got there. Such were the risks. But today we live in a much more compacted and smaller world in this information age. Traditional boundaries have been broken down and what happens in one part of the world, whether in terms of economic developments or whether in terms of national security concerns, is bound to impact not only the region but countries afar. So it is in that context that India and Belize are today close neighbors, no longer distant neighbors. And it is in that, that context uh, of our friendly feelings for Belize that we have extended our hand to Belize. We have. Uh, uh, deputed, for your kind information, those that have not followed the news, um, a very senior police officer from the government of India to act as advisor to the Commissioner of Police in Belize. His name is Mr. Ashok Chan. He is uh, a decorated uh, uh, officer with a string of achievements to his credit and he's already functional in Belmopan as advisor to the Commissioner of Police. Uh, I think this augurs well for the future of our relations. Uh, you'll also be very happy to know that uh, uh, I gave an interview this morning. I consider it a privilege that I was invited to go on to your show called uh, Channel 5, Open Your Eyes. And for those of you who missed it this morning, my friend and colleague Mr. Hutchandani tells me that it will be replayed at 5.30 this afternoon. So try and catch up on that. And you will see some of the sentiments that I expressed about promoting our relations. So with these few words, 
I want to once again congratulate each one of you. I want to tell you that I will be back again. I don't intend this to be um, a one-off uh, event, what we call in India like a 2020 match. I want to play a test match with you. <laughs> I want it to last three days, much more. In this case, three years. That's my duration uh, of my term here in uh, Belize. So let's play a test match between Belize and India, not a 2020 match. It should be durable, it should be sustainable, this relationship. And each one of you are already contributing to making that relationship and engagement more meaningful as we move together, hand in hand, into the 21st century. Please count on me and my colleague, Mr. Hopchandani, to do what we can for you. And we admire you and salute you. Thank you very much.